Being vegan is not just how you eat, it's a way of life. It's how you eat, it's the clothes you wear, it's the products you use, it's everything from making sure the glue you use doesn't have animal products in it. I'm Kale Walsh. And I'm Aubrey Walsh. And together we are the, the Herbivorous Butcher. Kale and I were both making meats for ourselves on our own, separately. You know, one day we were just kind of like, well, we make all these meats, why don't we open up a vegan butcher shop? And it was kind of like a <laughs> hilarious, good joke. <laughs> and, then, and then we just decided to try it. You know, we started a farmer's market table and the first day at the farmer's market, you know, when we were driving there that morning, I was like talking to Kale and my husband, Dan, and I was like, if we don't sell anything today, at least we got this far. And then, you know, I, I really didn't think we'd sell anything the first day and we got there, you know, and by two o'clock we were sold out. Most of our products are a uh, high protein wheat flour base. And what that is, it's a 95% protein flour uh, which is separated from, you know, conventional flour. So it's just the pure protein. And uh, from that, you can, at its most basic level, mix it with water and make seitan or mak duck, like you'd see at a, like a Chinese restaurant or something. Uh, but we take that to the next level, and we use different juices, beans, spices, seasonings, herbs, different cooking methods to really make any texture, any flavor. And the kitchen is Kale's realm. And I, you know, do a lot of the business stuff and try to figure out how to grow something that I don't know how to do. And it was actually our customers that recommended we do a Kickstarter. You know, they're like, we're sick of you guys selling out all the time. If you had your own kitchen, then you would never run out. It was the most grueling <laughs> month and a half of our lives. Well, it's, any given Kickstarter campaign is, you know, really good at the start, then it dips down. And it's like, please like us, notice yeah. us and then it picks up at the end, but you can never tell that's going to pick up in yeah, the end. Yeah, we never slept. It's like, uh, it's like the worst I lost coaster. hair, oh. and, uh, but it was really good. We're hoping that in the next year and a half we'll be able to build definitely one more store. Um, not in Minnesota, it'll be out, you know, Denver we're looking at. We're, you know, we're trying to grow cautiously. So. Oh yeah, no, it's a weird thing because with a lot of companies, it's just like, oh, LOL, get rich quick. You know, let's, yeah. let's sell it for 10 million and move to Cabo. But it's, it's not like that with us. You know, we're simple folk. He like keeps me, you know, abreast of what's going on in the kitchen, and I, you know, still at the end of the day, I make sure that he wants to do whatever these business decisions we're making. Yeah, you know? we feed off of each other. I got to make sure I'm making the highest quality stuff and you know, new products yeah. so that the business can grow. Exactly. So if you believe in it enough and you believe in your product enough and you know, you just go and get it, you're gonna be able to do it. Because people see your passion and they, they latch onto that. You know, you just move on with that confidence and yeah, great things can happen.